Pistons fans, let's talk K. Cunningham. Man, rookie of the year, if you ask me. <laughs> um, obviously, we fresh off the performance that we just seen. Uh, triple double from uh, K, 19, 10, and 10 uh, with three steals, man. So, um, you know, obviously, we're still oozing about that. We had the performance before that game where he just did not play well. The Pistons didn't play well at all. The entire starting lineup. So these these ups and downs that we've talked about, um, especially with him, he's a rookie. Um, so it's something that we just kind of got to expect, right? Overall, 16 points a game, five and a half rebounds, and five and a half assists so far. Um, almost about one and a half uh, steals from Cade. So. You know, like I said, yeah, the, the turnovers are still high. He's a rookie. You know, rookie guards, they that's just what they do. Uh, you know, even Killian Hayes last season was having some turnover issues, uh, and he's cleaned that up in one season. So, uh, but, yeah, three and a half turnovers a game from, from K right now as a point guard. So, you know, like I said, this is the midseason report. Obviously, you know, definitely got a, a, a lot of basketball play to, to play this season. Uh, but just looking at Kate overall coming into this league, uh, didn't get the start that he wanted to, walked in, you know, with the injury situation. Then you come into a team when you finally do hit the floor where everybody's dealing with shooting slumps and uh, you have some injuries where some guys are out. And next thing you know, it's the COVID protocols. And, you know, <laughs> like I said, you know, we all know this information, right? So. For him to be, you know, the rookie that he is, to keep his composure through all of these things, man, you see it even on the court. First uh, half of last game uh, didn't play well at all. Second half took it upon himself to start, you know, doing the those extra credit plays out there to get himself going, uh, passing the ball. And, you know, like I said, just being down there trying to rebound, trying to do some things, man. Um, and he got his game going. And he ended up, you know, being big time for us. Uh, late in the game and it helped propel us to that victory between him and Sadiq Bay and Stu out there. So uh, Frank Jackson also. Um, Mid-season report. He's ahead of where I thought he would be. I thought it would take him a little bit longer before he starts to step into that, you know, that role that we all uh, know that he could be. Um, he's a little ahead of the schedule for me personally. That's just me personally. Um, you know, like I said, with all the things going on, I didn't expect him to, to you know, take off and, and you know, have these explosive games, you know, here and there like he's doing right now. It's only going to get better and more consistent. Obviously, consistency is that it's something that we all want with a lot of these young guys. But, you know, we got to be realistic here. It's just not going to happen this soon, especially for him in this rookie season. So uh, right now, currently at this season, at this point of the season, uh, he's overachieved for me already. Already overachieved for me. Um, definitely going to continue to progress this season. We got, you know, him and Evan Mobley right now at the top of the rookie ladder. So, um, you know, like I said, when you just look at the, the numbers right now, yeah, you know, 16 points per game. But we all know that, you know, over a, a shorter amount of, of games, those numbers look a lot better. Uh, so when you take, you slash half of that, beginning of the season, you know, away just like we did with Sadiq Bey. Uh, obviously, we're talking in a different ballpark on how good Cade has been over uh, this certain stretch of games. I seen a tweet earlier. Um, I believe it was over, what was it, the last five or ten games or something like that. Uh, somebody tweeted earlier it was, um, you know, 20 points per game from, from Cade at this point right now. So, like I said, you know, us Pistons fans, we understand everything that's been going on this season. And, you know, on a national scale, obviously he's not going to get the respect that he deserves simply because he uh, wears that Pistons jersey. You know, we've seen a situation where, uh, you know, Candace Parker had to pretty much go off on the TV host because we just wasn't giving Cade any love. And uh, even with the performance, the triple-double last night, uh, you just didn't really hear much about it. Uh, outside the, you know, you know, the Detroit outlets. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. It's something that we expect. We all know, um, you know, him with the ball in his hands at times, obviously has been a great thing, but there's times where it's been not so great. <laughs> and that's the, you know, that's, this is a, the rookie 
up and down thing, you know what I'm saying? Especially at guard position, I truly still believe that Kenny Cunningham is not a strict, strictly a point guard. He's more of that James Harden, Luka Doncic, Doncic type of guy where you know he's just a a, a, a a star player, man. That you know is good at passing the basketball. <laughs> um, I don't want to slap a label on him and just deem him point guard like that. Um, I just think he's just going to be a great player, man, that just makes plays and make people better. And that's what Cade is to me, even, you know, before this season started, man. I thought that same thing in college. Uh, if you know any of the history with Cade, Cade was switched to point guard, um, you know, when it, his brothers and his training uh, went to his uh, coach and they made that decision. I wanted to try him out at guard because. You know, like I said, it, the potential was definitely there. Once he starts to clean up those turnovers and do what he um, needs to do out there, I, I think, you know, he definitely will be the pivotal point of just controlling the basketball more often. But for right now at this se- that this, this point of the season, you're going to see guys like Corey Joseph out there with him because there's times uh, of the game where he just needs that. You know what I'm saying? He needs to be off the ball at certain points of the game in certain situations. So – uh, we're very, very young in his career. He was very, very young in his career. And he's doing numbers out here. And he's being compared to some really, really, really great company, man. Really great company. So the future is definitely bright. And like I said, I believe him and Sadiq Bay can definitely coexist. Um, and both both be stars on this Piston team. Um, you know, obviously we have to wait for the Jeremy Grant situation. Um, you know, Jeremy Grant is also around... I think Kay Cunningham has established himself now as ready to, you know, to be that guy to where we're not just giving the ball to Jeremy Grant and ball watching uh, like we were early in the season. Most of that was due to a lot of the, you know, struggles that everybody was having at that point. You know, even Frank Jackson couldn't knock down shots at that point. So Jeremy being the only one that can do it uh, played a, a lot of the part of him, you know, having a basketball in his hands a lot. So at the time, you know, something that I, me myself didn't even realize. Um, but when you look back at that situation, I think Jeremy Grant comes in uh, at this stage of Kate's career and just be a fitting piece that he is, uh, just a, a guy that you know can get his own bucket, but at the same time, uh, you know, help the flow of the offense and just be a score, another scoring option for the Pistons. So. Uh, you know, I'm looking forward to the second half of this season for K, man. Um, like I said, I don't want to dig too deep into the stat game. Uh, not right now could be because of all the trouble we've had this season. So I kind of, I think it's kind of unfair to these young dudes. Um, but for my mid season report, K Cunningham is ahead of schedule for me. He is definitely, um, a A plus for me because, like I said, I just, I just, I expected him with all this, this stuff going on to take a little bit longer to step into that role. So, uh, obviously, over the summer, K is, you know, going to get stronger. That body's going to start to transport, uh, trans, not transport, transform. Uh, we've seen it with Killian Hayes, who's probably going to be uh, the next topic in the next episode, um, where Killian went from, you know, a skinny little teenage kid to. Now he's a little bit more bulky, a little bit more stronger, and he uses that on defense to help him be a lot, you know, a lot more successful on the defensive end. So uh, we're just waiting on him to, you know, to start attacking the basket. And some of the tweets that Dwayne Casey said today was really, really uh, good for me because uh, it proves a point that I've been trying to prove about him. So you'll see that, guys, in the next episode with Killian Hayes. Um, basically a game plan and why they moved him to the bench and – that you know how Killian was absolutely pretty happy with it because it gives him an opportunity to learn and do things at his pace. He's not being rushed into things, not being thrown into the fire. So uh, that's just a prelude to the next episode. But Kay Cunningham is an excellent talent man. We're going to be very, very fun to watch in the next three to four years from uh, now, man. Um, we still got draft and a dude to add more with him. We still got free agencies to add more with him, moves to make in the future uh, if necessary. So, you know, like I said, K. Cunningham has definitely been a joy to watch. Uh, there was another guy, I think his name was, uh, was it Jerron or Jericho or Jalen? Jalen, 
Jalen Green. Jalen Green, that was a, a guy that felt like he should have been picked in front of Kay Cunningham for some reason. You know, crazy people these days. I don't know what, what people think. Um, <laughs> no, but Jalen probably, you know, like I said, is going to be a really good player in this league. It's just, you know, the streakiness. <laughs> um, but, yeah, Kay Cunningham, Detroit Pistons, man, definitely on his way to that that – that star power that we've been wanting in the city for a long time, man. He is locked in. He is all in for Detroit. He said it from day one on draft day, and he's definitely proven it, man. Hell of a young man, uh, young man. Um, you know, another mature young man that we have. We have some very, very mature guys on this team. Uh, no headaches, no issues with this young core that we have. So, um, you know, Troy Weaver's plan is to take Cade along with all the rest of the core and and build these guys over time into being something long, uh, long and and, and sustainable um, as a Pistons team man, and as a Pistons core. So, with that said, let me know what you guys think of Cade Cunningham so far this season. Um, you know, are you oppressed? Is he underwhelming? Is he overwhelming? Uh, you know, like I said, just you know, is he doing much more than you thought he would do? I'm very interested to hear that, man. And you know, we'll re we'll revisit this topic if necessary, um, but we'll keep an eye on this thing, man, and watch him in this upcoming future. After the break, um, it's definitely going to be a lot better for the Pistons with a lot of guys, uh, you know, being available uh, during that time. So, uh, with that said, I enjoyed this video talking about my guy and. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next video.